Congress established Grand Teton as a national park in 1950, which means the National Park Service manages it for all Americans, not just those who are here today, but those who will be here in future generations and decades to come. In a lot of ways, this national park is like the great museum institutions all over the country and around the world. Things like the National Gallery of Art or the Smithsonian Institution, the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Those are great exhibits of culture and history that are housed within the walls of those great institutions. This national park is like a great outdoor living museum where the exhibits change from day to day and from year to year, but yet they remain the same whether people are visiting in the present or 50 years from now. The Moose Wilson Corridor truly is a spectacular destination within Grand Teton National Park. And when you come to this area, you're treated to a slow, rustic, semi-primitive experience. Part of the road is not paved, so as you travel that section, you may get a glimpse into the past of what it must have been like to, to travel in this area maybe a century ago. For about half of the visitors that come to Grand Teton National Park, this is their first time in the park. And many of them have never seen bears, moose, elk, deer, beaver. And when they see that bear for the very first time, it can be a very exhilarating and thrilling experience to watch a grizzly with its cubs eating hawthorns along the side of the road. To watch an elk on the hillside in the fall bugling is a beautiful multi-sensory experience. Sitting along the banks of the beaver pond is very relaxing and it's a very gentle, quiet experience to watch moose grazing in the willows while a great blue heron fishes in the background. Many people come to Grand Teton National Park just to see the wildlife and the Moose Wilson Corridor is a premier place to have that experience. It really is a time to sit back, relax, drive slowly and just take in all of the beauty that's around you.